BBIG stock has gained 110% or more since the last five trading sessions. This is it. You can see this is it. The last five trading sessions from the 11th of January to today, the 18th of January 2021. It's probably gained more than 110%. So uh, it closed the session of this today, the 18th of January at uh, $5.19, a gain of 27.52%, 5, 5, 5, yes. So why was uh, this stock one of the most active, if not the most active stock in this session of the 18th of January? Well, amongst other things, it has to be because it has to include its 22.52% uh, uh, short interest, the prospect of a short squeeze, the company's ventures into um, NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, crypto assets, uh, high hopes of or for the ELE NFT net, uh, marketplace that was released by the company last fall, and the spin-off of uh, Cryptide and indeed Lomotif. All of these, all of these, I believe, you know, uh, are, are you know the reasons why the stock you know has been extended since the last five trading sessions, and today it now topped the the most active uh, stock uh, leaderboard today. You know, so today as well, we can see it says their price rose above the 200, move, 200 day moving average. So all along, it's been, you know, strongly bullish. But today it crossed that 200 day moving average all along before that time, before now, it was below that uh, 200 day moving average on its uh, daily chart. So price rose above the 200 day moving average of uh, $4.08 on above average volume. So yes, that's what happened today. And can see the, the, the news is that um, Vinco Ventures shares extended um, extends gain on speculation about blockchain uh, units uh, spin off. That's a um, that's a cryptide, yes. So the shares were up 25% or more, extended last week's uh, gains amid online chatter about the company's plans to spin off um, cryptide, uh, the company's uh, blockchain business. The digital marketing company stock was uh, recently at $5.10 after opening at $4.76 on NASDAQ. It closed at $4.07 on Friday, the um, 14th of January. Okay, trading volumes to that uh, more than, okay, we have uh, 250 million, I think, 277.9 million shares, you know, so uh, that's that's what's going on. You know, let's look at the options table and see what's going on here. Okay, this is the, the options, uh, um, options uh, the 20 January 2020 January 21st uh, series okay these ones will expire in three days as on Friday the 21st of January so we can see the sort of volumes we are talking about here the five dollar strike okay, it has uh, the most uh, volumes yet has the most volumes I believe yes it has to be in five thousand five hundred seventy two followed by the five fifty I think you know followed by the six dollars you know, but all of them, they're all in contention, you know, um, the 550 to $6, and, you know, all the way down to even $9, you know, so um, let's have a look at the, but at the same time as well, on the put side of things, the volumes are also crossing there because, you know, um, this stock has uh, held on for a long time. So you can, you should expect that um, short sellers are, you know, easily going there to, you know, see, I, I, would, say, I would say short sellers, you know, um, people, I mean, there's money to be made, on either side of the, the, the of the of the uh, of the of the of the options, you know. So um, let's see, and they are you know pretty much uh, affordable as well. You can see that it will, it's going to cost you sixty nine dollars to get involved with this, and the spread is only one cent. You know, very nicely. Um, some most of them are at least a five dollar and five fifty. You know, they're nicely priced. You know, um, okay, even the seven fifty as well. Also. The six dollars not so not so even though the two cents is not 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 end of the world. So let's have a look at the of the at the Greeks and see what we are talking about there. You can see the theta. The theta is very high for those. Uh, you can see that 0 0.7, 0 0.072. I believe this is uh, what it's going to lose every day. 0 0.72. You know, but at the same time, look at the implied volatility here. Two hundred and five percent for this five dollar strike. 310 percent you know that is that gives you okay th what am i talking about 416 you know so this is an impl an indication of the expectations involved the demand and supply it's very high you know you know this stock you know is 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 
it's that, that's as a matter of fact that is probably where a, 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 a significant amount of the the deal is going on you know the, in the option on, on the on the option size of side on the options side of uh, the stock that is probably where um, the whole activity is going on and I see that they're nicely priced as well this nine dollar strike uh, it will you know fifteen dollars will just get you in, in there and uh, you know get you get get enable you, enable you to get involved you know see what's what we are talking about here it's you know the expectations are very high you know um, there's the interest is also very high that's what just you know this this these uh, implied volatilities uh, for implied volatilities are pointing pointing at you know and then we also have the uh, gamma these are the sort of uh, figures you will be calculate you be you use to determine the sort of uh, volumes that may be market but ma uh, market makers will uh, to, to help you determine the sort of uh, uh, figures uh, the, the, the sort of uh, uh, shares that uh, market participants have to probably sell or buy as the case may be to you know, ensure that their books are in order ensure that they don't need long, they don't uh, run into losses you know so uh, this will give you in this case which will be uh, if you multiply this by 100 you get 23.7 multiplied by the the volume so far or the open interest as a case may be and then you have okay that was uh, the volume there or open interest as a case may be you multiply that by 23 point this 23,234 by that uh, um, um what is it called what what did we see again what do we was that we have multiplied by the gamma yes so uh that will give you an idea of the sort of volumes uh, market market uh, makers will have to buy or sell as the case may be to keep their books in order you know so yes you know it's really interesting you can see that this um, um this open interest this is also an op open interest of seven thousand five hundred forty nine. so if we look at the Greeks and see what we what we have there, that's it's 0 0.25, 0 0.256 times uh, 77,000. Okay, that's what we're talking about there. That will give you an idea of the sort of volumes that will they have to be contending with. You know, let's see now. Let's see. Uh, 25 times 77. Five four nine give you will give you okay one point nine eight nine one point nine three eight million shares you know so amongst other things so these these are the sort of things that may have contributed to the huge volume we saw as well this volume of three hundred seventy seven point nine million shares you know so the, there's a gamma gamma hedging and gamma you know squeezing all going on you know so uh, jostling you know the demand. You know, market uh, makers have to get the shares from somehow, you know, and then, you know, if they can't find it, then the prices have to go up so that they can get it, you know, and then, you know, that's probably among other things why we saw uh, the sort of volumes we are talking about in this session. So, BBIG is on the move; it's uh, trending right now. You know, it's um, it's there's a good chance it's still going to remember. You can see that it has already it actually gained more in the post market sessions. As at uh, now, it is uh, trading at 5.73, close at 5.19, so at uh, 5.73. So there's a good chance it will continue to uh, rumble on and continue to draw interest from market participants, you know, as um, the spin off of uh, Cryptide uh, uh, looms, you know, so it affects everything, the options, uh, everything, you know. So just but, but just be really careful, you know, we have a target of uh, 6.52 in the short term, 6.52 is our target for BBIG and uh, see what you make of a BBIG stock and we'll continue to update you. Thank you very much for watching this video.